This here is a darkling beetle. It lives out here in the vast desert of northwest Utah. And he's on the move. Where to? I don't have a clue. But I can tell you about the town he's leaving behind. Welcome to Lucin, Utah. There's abandoned cars, weeds. Once in a while, a train will pass through. Yup, there's not a whole lot here in Lucin. Well, except for this man. But who is this man? This man who lives in an airplane hangar, who flies a Cessna to get to his closest friends. Who is this man? This man who lives in the middle of nowhere, who lives 25 miles from this bar with this man inside, who owns a bunch of guns, works with machines, and made this thing. Who is this man? My name is Ivo Zdarsky, and this is where I live. As you've gathered, this man isn't from around Lucent. He grew up in Czechoslovakia before the fall of the USSR. He didn't like it much. It's kind of hard to do anything. The communists were in power there. You cannot have your own business. It's kind of difficult to fly there, so I kind of didn't feel like I could be myself. He really wanted to leave the country, but it wasn't easy. There was an iron curtain. They like have a machine gun towers and barbed wire to keep you in. They like to keep you. So when he was 24, he escaped the country the only way he knew how, by flying across the border in his self-built airplane. So I drove up close to the border between Austria and sometime like at three o'clock in the morning, I took off and I just glided over to Austria and, and I found myself at Vienna International Airport and I landed there. And then uh, I just showed them my expired passport and. I asked for asylum. And the world took notice. I guess they had never seen anything like that before. So I think they liked it. I liked it. <laughs> Avo then moved to Los Angeles and built up a successful airplane propeller business. But even LA couldn't fit his big ideas. I kind of needed a place to test my other idea, which is hard to do it in the middle of the city, that's how I found uh, this place in Utah. Uh, it was for sale, so I bought it. And I've been here for uh, like eight years. And what was Ivo's big idea that brought him to Lucen? Well, it's behind that door over there. Inside sits an A-propeller flying machine, able to lift off and land vertically. It's basically an airplane-helicopter hybrid of sorts. It's kind of funny looking, but the damn thing actually flies. So what's Avo's next big project? A solar-powered aircraft? An innovative propeller design? Some kind of new way to fly? The next big one is that uh, spear gun idea, which actually it works better than I thought. That doesn't always work that way. Sometimes I get really bad ideas. <laughs> Even while inventing new spear guns and the like, Ivo still finds the time to get out of the house. In fact, that's him over there, hiking on the side of a mountain. It's just him, nature, and his customized rifle. I take the gun with me because of the mountain lions. However treacherous the hike, it's always worth it. You get a good view of Lucen. It actually looks pretty nice from here, don't it? You know, I still wonder. Why did that darkling beetle ever leave this place? Maybe Lucen wasn't right for the little guy. Maybe it's escape into the next place where it can be itself. For Ivo, though, looks like this might be his last stop. I kind of realized that this is what I always wanted. I kept escaping until I escaped to Lucen, and now I don't have anywhere else to escape. 
Like we're on a stag here. That was a great answer. <laughs> well, no, it's also a truth if you think about it. <laughs>